Slicers in Excel are a great option to substitute the common filters that you have in a table of Excel. But why is that? Because it's much easier to use. You just need to click in the button. And as you can see, the data is going to be automatically filtered whenever you select any option. And it's also much easier to use multiple filters at once. So let's say I want to see everything that is equal to the West region. I can choose this option. And another criteria that I want to add as the filter to sort the data that I have in my table is everything that is equal to the item B. Let me select this option. And as you can see, now I have a filtered table in Excel. They are matching the values, the options that I selected before west and item b and to clear the filter instead of goes to this icon right here and then click go to clear filter from product or select everything again it's much easier because you can just click in this icon right here click and that's it everything returns to the original displayment there's a lot of benefits to use a slicer in excel instead of using the standard filters so let's take a look on how the slicers can help us and also how to use in a practical way the slicers in excel let's go the first thing that we can start with is to transform the data set into a table in excel however if you don't have any data to use you can download this excel file for free just click in the link in the description that way you can follow with me this step by step using the same data as i'm using here but if you want to use your own data be free to do so, so that way you can choose. Use your own data or download this Excel file. Now that we already have a data set in Excel, I can click anywhere within the data and go to insert and then table. With this new menu that's going to open for me, I can be mindful and check the option. Yes, my table has headers and then click OK. Now we already have a table in Excel. Just something that I think is very important to say is if you go to table design, you're going to have many different table styles to choose. Or in other words, you can change the colors, the design, the layout of the table. I'm going to keep the blue one because it's not going to change the functionality, but just the design, the colors, okay? Now we can go to the tool that uh, we are supposed to learn in this video. That is within the table design. I'm going to have a option called insert slicer. If you click in this option, you can have many different values to choose and all the values that you have such as date product brand quantity sold and on and on responding to the columns that you have so all the columns that i have in my table are being represented here by this slicer options i want to filter the data using the products i can even click and mark another option too but let's keep for now just with the products and then i'm going to click ok I'm going to have this new window or these interactive buttons or the slicers. And whenever, let me click and hold and drag up just to move closer to the table. And whenever I click in any option, let's say item B, all the table is going to be filtered in order to show just the values that I selected here before. And if I want to clear the criteria, I can click in this small icon here. And that's it. Now I have the table again with the original data. But let's go back here to the slicer. Let's say I want to see everything that corresponds to the item C. Let me put the slicer to the right. Now that I select the item C, I can see all the items that match with the criteria, the condition that I selected here in the slicer. The cool thing is I can also add more criteria. Let's say I also want to see the item B. How can I select more than one option at once? I can click in this little icon here and then I can choose all the options that I want to see. Very simple to use. Another thing that is very important to say is if you click in the slicer, you can go to slicer and you're going to have many different options, styles, designs to choose. Maybe I can stick with the blue one, however, with a darker color. Another interesting thing is if you click again in the slicer, slicer tab, you can go to columns. And instead of using one color for each one of the rows that you have, you can use two, three, four, and on and on. Let's stick with maybe three. That way I can see three different columns per option. I can also increase the height and I can also change the width of the buttons like this. However, even though the slicer has all the options that I need within one single column, such as the product, my table has many different columns. Date, product, brand, quantity sold, and on and on. And if I want to use different columns, I can do it using again, insert the slicer and select another option. Uh, let me give you here a more concrete example. If I select item B, let me uncheck the first option here. 
and then I just want to see the item B. If I go to the table, I can see, even though I select the item B, I still have many different brands, such as brand B2, for example, and also brand B1. So even though it's the same name for the product, it's actually a different product because it's from different brands. And if I want to add another filter, but this time from a different column, such as the brand, as I said before, I can go to table design, insert slicer, and this time I'll also want to use a brand slicer option. But let me select one more option here, maybe region and sales channel. I'm gonna click OK. That way I can input and add many different slicers. Let me press and hold down the control key to select all those three different slicers click, hold, and drag it up. I want to adjust the size of all the slicers at once. So I can, with all the slicers selected, I can go to the columns, change how many columns I want to see, change the height, and also change the width. Let's move the brand maybe right here, underneath the products. I want you to put the region right here, and also the sales channels right here. I know it's looking kind unorganized, but I'm gonna pause the video for one second and I'm gonna organize it better, okay? Okay, so I just took a time to arrange everything. Now I think it's much better, the slicers. And another tool that I want to show, the last one, but before I show this tool, let's see if everything is working. Let me clear the first slicer. Okay, now we can see the original data. If I want to see everything that is equal to the south or east region, let me click here. The table is going to automatically be filtered. Now I want to see everything that is equal to the retail sales channel. And furthermore, I also want to apply a brand filter such as the B002. Okay, now as you can see, I met here three different criteria to be used as a filter. My table is displaying a much smaller number of data. However, I have a much more specific visualization of those informations. That way, the slicers are a great way to analyze, to build, to sort the data, to help us analyze everything that we have. The last tool or functionality that the slicer has that I want to show you is, if you click in any slicer, let's say the product, right click you can go to slicer settings within these options you can make many changes such as change the header name or the title I, you can input a new name here you can also hide or display the header and you can also hide items with no data this option can be very useful when you are using a slicer with the dates such as days months weeks years and then i if i click ok you're gonna see immediately that the slicer is gonna change a bit that's it you know it's much clearer because as i get rid of the header all the options that comes with the header such as the multiple selection and also the icon to clear the filter both are not being displayed anymore so let's say if you get rid of the header how can you select more than just one option at once let me clear all the other slicers okay uh let me select the item b but I also want to select the icon A. How can I do it? Because as we can see, I don't have any more the icons with the, those tools. So you can press and hold down the control key and then select all the other options that you want to see. If I release the control key, look what's going to happen with the, my table. All the data that I select here with the criteria that I choose are going to be automatically updated within the data set. And if I want to clear everything, I can select everything that I have because select everything is the same as clear the filter or you can let's say select an option within the slicer now you want to clear the filter you can right click within the slicer and go to clear filter from product simple as that and now you're gonna clear everything that you selected before this is how we can use the slicers in Excel to help us slice and dice our data set and also to make analysis I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to use slicers and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow, as every day has a new video, I see you there.